Hello guys, uh, my name is Two-Face um, and I'm a very big fan of EFC 25, it used to be called FIFA. Uh, so there just uh, has been a recent uh, release, uh, I mean the past couple of days of the Ultimate Edition and for people who kind of are subscribed to the EA Play Pro, uh, you know, edition. Uh, so the game been out for a couple of days as I was saying. But then it's been out for a couple of hours just for the regular consumers or who order the game on a regular edition. But then generally, I think people have been having issues with the controller settings. Uh, for me specifically, I have been having issue using the D-pad. And um, the analog been okay, but I'm not a big fan. I'm an OG and I like to use the D-pad, you know. I mean, you can call me, say whatever you want to say, but you know. That's me, and I think I got a lot of people out there who does the same. So uh, this is a um, general fix solution for everybody uh, who needs it, who this might be helpful to. And uh, let's get in, you know. So uh, the problem is um, when I try using the D-pad and I try to switch direction, it kind of do unnecessary uh like skill move like flick and all that and i thought hmm what's going on but i never have issue using the uh the analog or the stick or whatever you want to call it i've been around the internet youtube searching all over the place and people have been kind of giving other solutions and what sort of you know but then it didn't work for me specifically and i guess there are a lot of people out there which uh that solution might have not worked for them so we can try this and i bet you this is gonna work and give me a shout out if it doesn't and uh you know we can share ideas and get the best solution as you know putting ideas together brings out the best solution so uh let's get in so uh i specifically play the game or launch from the ea sports app so I get it. Some people use the Steam, you know, and other sort of app uh, kind of platform. Uh, we got a PS, uh, we got an Xbox, Nintendo Switch. And I think this kind of general issue, you know, for people specifically or especially those who like to use the D-pad. So let's get into it. Uh, you know, I'm launching my game from our EA Play app. So uh, let's get into it. You can launch yours from whatever, you know, app or uh, whatever platform you're using. So, uh, I hope this works for all of us, you know. It's kind of worked for me, so I hope it works for you too. So, launching the game, uh, you know, I go ahead trying to get into the game. And, you know, it says EA Sparks it's in the game. So, let's get on. So this is kind of feels, sounds like kind of sort of magical, but we'll find out at the end of it all, you know. And all the best to you guys out there, you know. Uh, hopefully I'll meet you on Ultimate Team. You know, I'm a kind of a big fan uh, in the competitive section of the game, so I don't really play other modes, uh, mostly Ultimate Team. So uh, you start from the settings, you know, um, and you go to the settings specifically uh get into the customized controls and then this is where the magic starts you go to um classic you know you find a classic uh control section you know um, and then you customize it to your use your favorite your ability whatever you know adjust it to however uh it works for you and then you know i usually use the uh box or square whatever you want to call it for shooting the circle for low uh you know play around for the l1 you know uh i1 yeah i1 for sprints and finesse and all that and the most important part is the d-pad you know the move play and all that so i switch it around you know the same with the defense you do your switch and i like to use the circle for sliding you know all that sphere second whatever you want to call it you know uh, run button 
so i you know you adjust it to however it works for you and then you know you save it to any lot you have you know in the customize section you know then uh let's say d you can have a b c but i'm using d for now you can use whatever you want you know so you save it and as the magic goes on you kind of back up and then you go to profile mm -hmm. we're getting deep into the magic you know the wonderland yeah so then you have to save the file this is the most important part of it because you might do it in the game do it everywhere else but then after doing it in the settings customize controller section settings whatever you want to call it you back out and then you go to the profile and then there you save it after saving it i bet you 100 percent you're good to go if it doesn't work just hit me up with any suggestion anything any question let me know i bet you no question is going to come the only thing is going to be thank you for the solution and i hope to see you in uh ultimate team soon i uh, have a good one man uh thank you guys have a great day bye bye that's all for now